Attention, ride on bus, ride on extra, flash and flex riders. Fare collection will resume on August 1st. Fares will be collected at a new reduced rate. All trips are now only $1. Kids, seniors, and disabled still ride for free. The new reduced rate of $1 reflects Montgomery County's desire to provide equitable transit for all riders. Pay via Smart Trip card, download the Smart Trip app on your mobile phone, or pay with exact change. Learn more at rideonbus.com. Grand Canyon University, a Christian university, is one of the largest and fastest growing universities in the country, offering over 250 engaging programs online. Praised for its culture of community, students engage with faculty and connect with counselors who take a personalized approach for your success. GCU's online students received over $144 million in scholarships in 2021. Visit gcu.edu slash myoffer to see the scholarships you qualify for. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Welcome to the Unscripted Podcast. My name is Corby LaCroix, and the song you're hearing right now is called Great and Mighty One, available on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your music. But for now, here's your host and my friend, Aaron Conrad. Great Redeemer, God of everybody welcome back to unscripted and this is a special week this is grace week and uh today's day four you know i decided to do something new this year as we enter the week leading up to good friday and easter sunday because it's one of the greatest gifts that happened was on calvary with the gift of grace i'm gonna take each day and this week and focus on that and i thought it'd be a good i actually thought it would be good to remind myself of the grace the amazing grace every single day if you'd like, feel free to follow along uh, throughout this week. Today is day four. There's three other days, and there's three other days coming. I've got issues. Matter of fact, I've shared the list before, but uh, I'd like to say I've, I've I've made some strides in some of those areas. Honestly, I think I've continued to struggle in others. Let's just say that I totally understand when Paul talked about his thorn. Our Instagram, Facebook, social media, Twitter, uh, driven world, it's easy to create a perfect life. But this life is anything but perfect. At times it's downright ugly. You know, to review here my, my list, here it is. I hide. I act. I show a smile and I die inside. I want to show no signs of failure, but I rarely have anything but. My internal thoughts are so dark, depressing, and they're often rude. I have a really hard time with forgiveness and saying I'm sorry. I bury bitterness, anger, doubt, and fear so deep that when it surfaces, it's so much worse. I live in fear of so many things. At times, I lose grip with reality. I'm broken. I'm damaged. I have a past that haunts me. I'm selfish. I fear being irrelevant. I have addictions that are like bondage that won't release me from their grips. I wrestle with and I sometimes lose faith. I'm judgmental. I'm afraid you'll forget me when I'm gone. You know, Paul only mentioned having one thorn. Apparently, I've got a few more than he did. I've got the whole bush. <laughs> But this is why Good Friday was so important to my story. And I don't know who will read or hear this, but maybe Good Friday was important to your story too. Are you ready for what he said? But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power may rest in me. And that was in 2 Corinthians 12, 9. You know, hold up. Back up the truck. You mean I'm supposed to be glad about all those things I just told you, my weaknesses? It actually says that I should boast gladly about them. (laughs) 
this is some crazy talk. That is the kind of crazy talk that it'll help me understand. That it, some help me understand. So you know, I looked to a resource which was uh, become a manual for me over the years. It's a book by Max Lucado called Grip of Grace. And he said this. Max writes, you wonder why God doesn't remove the temptation from your life? If he did, you might lean on your own strength instead of his grace. A few stumbles might be what you need to convince you that his grace is sufficient for your sin. You wonder why God doesn't remove the enemies in your life? Perhaps because he wants you to love like he loves. Anyone can love a friend, but only a few can love the enemy. So what if you aren't everyone's hero? His grace is sufficient for your self-image. You wonder why God doesn't alter your personality? You, like Paul, are a bit rough around the edges. You say things you later regret or do things you later question. Why doesn't God make you more like him? He is. He's just not finished yet. Until he is, his grace is sufficient to overcome your flaws. You wonder why God doesn't heal you? He has healed you. You are in Christ. You are a perfected soul now and a perfected body. His plan is to give you the soul now and the body when you get home. He may choose to heal parts of your body before heaven. But if he doesn't, don't you still have a reason for gratitude? If he never gave you more than eternal life, could you ask for more than that? His grace is sufficient for gratitude. For all we don't know about thorns, and we can be sure of this, God would prefer that we have an occasional limp than a perpetual strut. And if it takes a thorn for him to make his point, then he loves you enough to not pluck it out. God has every right to say no to us. We have every reason to say thanks to him. The parachute is strong and the landing will be safe. His grace is sufficient. And again, that's Max Lucado from the book Grip of Grace. You know, I don't know what your thoughts were when you... When your feet hit the floor this morning, maybe you leaned over and picked up your quote unquote list like I laid light out. You put it on your shoulders and you carry it again for another day. Maybe you're struggling with the why and the when. Know that the events that took place on Good Friday are significant to your story too. Your list, your struggles, your battles were all a part of that story. When it comes to grace and your story, his grace is sufficient for you. Uh, we close again today with our song from Tori and Shauna, The Love of Jesus. It's significant. Friday is significant and Sunday is coming. And tomorrow will be day five. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. There are no dimensions. You can never measure his love There are no equations Or any calculations Greater than his love The love of Jesus Showed us mercy and love. Took the nails in his hand, did it for all men just because of his love. No death.
Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Unscripted Podcast with your host, Aaron Conrad. Make sure to like, share, follow, and review on your favorite podcast platforms. Also, make sure to check out my song, Great and Mighty One, on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you find your music. We'll see you next time on Unscripted with Aaron Conrad. Mary redeemed a $50,000 cash prize playing Chumba Casino online. I was only playing for fun, so winning was a dream come true. Chumba Casino is America's favorite free online social casino. You, too, could have the chance to win life-changing cash prizes. Absolutely anybody could be like Mary. Be like Mary. Log on to ChumboCasino.com and play for free now. No purchase necessary. Void or prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The voice in the preceding commercial was not the actual voice of the winner.